Now, some small businesses in Keller Land are already closing during the COVID-19 pandemic. Today, MB Haskett announced it is shutting down and laying off employees. The Carpenter Bar and the Treasury are also pausing operations. Keller Land's Brady Mallory shows you how social distancing is affecting stores that rely on their customers. MB Haskett, no Tessin. Restaurants rely on people being social. But what happens when customers have to put sharing a meal or a cup of coffee on the back burner. Every hour that passes that we're open and we're not meeting our sales that we need to, to stay open in this time, um, there's just too much for me to, to, to manage all of that at once. Nationally, as more businesses shut down during the COVID-19 pandemic, MB Haskett owner Michael Haskett is doing the same. He says he's helping employees get financial assistance while they're out of work. He says it's a hard decision. But the writing is on the wall for the foreseeable future. I want to be open again. And if I don't make this hard decision now, I, I, I don't know. I could dig a, a deeper financial hole for myself and, and not be able to open. Here you go. With people practicing social distancing, Bread and Circus is focusing on takeout orders to help keep everything going. Barry Putsky says they've spaced out tables for limited dine-in options, but that could soon change. There hasn't been that many people that actually want to come in and dine, um, but uh, the next step would most likely be that we would shut down dine-in. Putsky hasn't laid anyone off, but says all of this has been tough on employees. Certainly hours are going to drop to a fraction of what they used to be, so we're working with our team to see what options uh, folks have. Both men say they're following safety guidelines. Haskett says he'll reopen, but he doesn't know when. He hopes lawmakers will do what they can to fast track unemployment benefits and small business assistance to help local stores bounce back. How do we take care of our, our people? I, my restaurant isn't just me, it's the people that work here. And for these people to wonder how they're gonna get food, on their tables at home, wonder how they are going to make their mortgage payments and utility bills. Like, that is the hardest part. Brady Mallory, Kelloland News. Haskett and Pusky say that several small business owners are discussing how to best support each other. Pusky also recommends customers support businesses by buying gift cards and frequently frequently them once business gets back to normal. Now, Keller Lines' Matt Holson also caught up with the owners of Flyboy Donuts who say sales are down for St. Patrick's Day.